What episode number is this? 111? Yeah, 111. Welcome to episode 111 of the Soapbox. Here with your boy Sunny Tay. We got Karan in the building, aka Amal, with the. I don't know, but that's a tough ass shirt. I like that shirt a lot. Thank you. We got Solange in the building, aka Solange. I don't know what your hoodie says, but you know, you're looking chill today. We got Sam in the building, aka HR Sam. And we got, you know what I mean? Not, 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 kid, not, kid, not, 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 we got Nakeem back in the building, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Chef in the building. You got a new chain, Nakeem? Why you got the chain oh, tuck today? Yeah, you got the chain tuck. Yeah, why you got the chain yeah, tuck? Yeah, Anybody yeah, gonna yeah. rob you, Nakeem? Don't worry. Let your, your chain hang, man. I'm saying. <laughs> How you doing, nah? How you doing? I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. You, you know. chilling? You look good, man. Hair flowing, you know what I'm saying? I like it. Yeah, I couldn't get my shit braided before I left, so. Mm. Oh, you should have hit me up, bro. I would have got you. We you know how to braid here? Yeah, we could have sat on the stoop. You could have sat nah, in between bro. my legs. I'm, I'm, good, I'm good on that. <laughs> <laughs> I would have hugged your shit up, that. bro. I'm how you doing, Karan? You good? You know what I'm saying? This nigga, I look like Pooh Shice. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Karan, you good, though, brother? Oh, yeah, I'm doing great, man. Um, beautiful day. Um, yeah, man, I'm doing good. How you guys doing? I'm good. I'm good. How's your week been? It's been good. Um, work and shit. And, um... I was having problems with my computer. I fucking hate the internet sometimes, bro. Because we didn't put the video out this week. Oh, my God. We didn't put the... Yeah, I meant um, to ask you about week. that. Bro, like, YouTube was playing with me, bro. Like, it was taking mad long to upload. My fucking computer fucking freaked out and shit. Well, I mean, you and live in the middle of nowhere, so... Yeah. It's mm. probably hard to get service out here. And I never use my hard... Like, I have a, um external hard drive. Mm. And I, I forget to always, like, move over all the shit that I have for the podcast onto that external hard drive. Mm. So I had to leave mad shit in the midst of that. So I was like, yo, I'm not posting this week. I don't got time for this shit. No. And, um, look at you. You costing us business and shit. I know, right? Yeah. I had to make a business decision without you. I apologize for that. Um, Solange, how you doing, man? You good? Yeah, I can't complain. It's been a great week. I am about to be fully mutated. So I'm a bit wonky. But what you mean mutated? <laughs> <laughs> With my she got dose stuff. Bro. Yeah. Uh, With yeah. my second dose. How you feeling? More power to you. I feel crazy. I'm screaming. <laughs> how you doing, Akeem? You know, finish telling us how you're doing. You're, you're I'm not the one I'm You're the one mutated. mutated. Yeah, I got two more weeks until it's complete. You know. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, going to the dose thing. Um, what was I gonna say about this? You're not about to ask how Nakeem's doing. Did I? We asked him. Did I not ask him again? No. I'm alright, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm cool. Nakeem, how you doing, man? I'm sorry. I thought cool, I asked him again. I'm cool. I'm cool. You know. Nakeem's in town for the week. Um. You know, you just moved down south. How you liking it down there? It's starting to get hot. Hell yeah, it's starting to get it's hot up here. I can hot. imagine down there. Man, I came here last night and I was freezing. Yeah? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was freezing last night when I got out of the car, yeah. That's crazy. It's starting to get hot down there. For That's real. That's good. Like, um, this is nothing. Did you, did you find what you was looking for in Florida since you moved down there? Um, I'm not sure what I was looking for. Mm. Mm. You were just going down for the experience just to see, you know, yeah, you a know, different I environment. Kinda, I just jumped. You know what I mean? You just jumped? I just, <laughs> for real, I just felt like there's nothing left in New York and at that time anyway, and mm. I just jumped. I could come back. I love New York, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I just had to spread my wings a little bit, you know what I mean? I feel you. And for those who don't know, Nakeem is the original yes. co-host. Exactly. So. Season one, season two, you feel me? Mm-hmm. OG. We made the mistake saying he got fired, but he he didn't get fired. Oh, he left. said I got fired. He said, he said that. He said that. That's crazy. He said that. crazy. No, I <laughs> I put in my letter of resignation. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I did not did. get fired. He did. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um, but some people got fired, but it was <laughs> it wasn't me. Shout out to Jaleesha. <laughs> yo, she gonna get tired. We say that every week, yo. <laughs> She's really gonna pull up one day. She's gonna be tight when we have it on the podcast. Um, yeah. So. I think we talked about this for the pod. Are people, you said people in Florida like um, half and half are masks, right? Like wearing masks and shit? I didn't say half and half. I said it just depends on the situation. Like, if you're going into a store, mm-hmm. people are going to wear masks because, you know what I mean? Still. Most stores require it and then just people are going to wear masks. Yeah. yeah. But if you're at like a party or something, niggas is not wearing masks. We only heard <laughs> you only heard your phone ring. I mean, my fault, my fault. Oh, but, no, it was my fault actually. And like I parties, hope. people are not wearing masks. Mm-hmm. Like 
some parties you need a mask to get in, like the bigger parties. Yeah. But once you get in there, you can take that shit off, and mm. then just move freely. So. Florida scares me, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm still scared of Florida. How for do y'all what? feel? Mm. It's, I don't know, what man. You scared just, of Florida for like, it, you don't think that people down there just like, like, do you do you like see a difference in how people act like from New York compared to Florida? Um, not what? really, not yet. That's interesting. Mm. Not yet, like act of course, because you know I mean, you grew up in different environments, but mm. like, it's not that dramatic as mm. people make it seem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because okay. so Floridians aren't as crazy as people say they are. I'm sure they are, but I just haven't seen it yet. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just be I'm getting sure mad. Are, but New York is crazy as fuck too. No, it's crazy so too. It's like, but it's I mean, Florida's like an open carry state, right? No, so. it's not open carry. Oh, it's not open carry. No, no, no. Oh, okay, never mind then. You just gotta be 20, 21, 21. No. but uh, you could have it, but you can't like just carry it around. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Unless you have like concealed carry. Mm, okay. But. You can have it in, like, the car or in your house. Mm -hmm. But when you're 21, you can just go buy a gun as long as you don't got, like, a record okay. or anything like that. Okay. Yeah. Like okay. a pistol, just a registered pistol, because I you feel like... You be registered. You, you can be 13 it. years old to buy a gun at Walmart. What? In New York. <laughs> I'm so dead ass. <laughs> to buy a BB gun. A BB gun and then the hunting gun, still. Nah. Nah? Nah, you so might Maybe, like, a BB gun and a pellet gun. But nah, you gotta be 18 to buy long guns that shoot bullets. I don't know. I so. feel like I watched something on this. That's why I only said oh, it. No, but okay. I'm telling you. I, I believe I would, you. I you know more about this than I do. I've been out here. <laughs> I bet you would have one. Yeah. Um, but how do you guys feel about the. Well, I guess. Pe well, it's all over. How do you guys feel about like them announcing that people who are fully vaccinated don't have to wear masks and shit? I actually. I don't know. Like. I mean, of course, um, the. Um, the announcement came out, but mm -hmm. um, I don't know if people can. I mean, you really can't go anywhere without a mask. I'm not at least anywhere in public. Well, I mean, if you're outside, obviously, mm -hmm. but you can't go in an enclosed like area without your mask. Well, it depends. Because, because I mean, before, I mean, we were always allowed to if you're in public, you don't necessarily have to have a mask on. Yeah. I mean, out, if you're outside outdoors. Yeah, but not what, what it is, is like. You don't have to wear your mask inside if you're fully vaccinated. Like supermarkets, like Publix, like they took the ban off. Yeah, like Walmart, you BJ's. To, you don't have to wear a mask. Certain private businesses. It's only like hospitals and stuff like that yeah. that you mm -hmm. have to still wear a mask. But I think it. But um. But it really just depends on the company though, because there's a lot of companies that are still requiring people to wear masks, even if you are vaccinated. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I think um the CDC like took off their restriction uh their requirements no they did so not in certain states no oh, well not for new york at least because i know where i work for the museum it's a private owned business so they're like it doesn't yeah, yeah. matter so private no, no. owned places yeah yeah that's what i'm saying though the cdc took it off for the state but privately owned businesses they could still require you to okay. wear a mask okay. yeah okay hmm. yeah. Want, but you said like where you work like if you're fully vaccinated um then you don't need a mask right um, I'm not sure about the people that work there. As I think like, you uh, still got to wear a mask. As far as like uh, customers, like the, and stuff. the supermarkets. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I work in the warehouse, so the supermarkets yeah, yeah, you could I mean. just um, you could just if you if yeah, you're fully if you're vaccinated. Fully vaccinated, they say you could just go. So Employees but then too? that's what I'm saying. How would you know who's fully vaccinated? That's what I'm. Now, that's what I was just about to ask. Anyway, and ask. That's what I'm about to ask. So like you, would, I, I'm assuming you would always have to have your vaccination card on you just yeah. to. Man, that's about to be a big business. That's yeah, people that's faking the vaccination about. cards. I mean, yeah, I'm sure that's happening now. That's but. big business. <laughs> take <t> take notes. <laughs> you guys can make a lot of money out there. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But yeah, it's yeah. like, how are you Apparently. gonna know who's vaccinated, and who's not? Like, you can't just. Well, I mean, if you, that's you why ask. you have to. That's why you, you have to have ask. the card on you. Yeah. Mm. I don't feel like carrying that shit because that's. I feel like place. it's so it's so dumb though. Like it's really like shaming people into. Or, like, trying to trick them into getting um, vaccinated. Because if you get vaccinated, you can still get coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're telling people that are vaccinated not to wear masks, but they can still get coronavirus. They're just not going to die from it, but they can still get it and spread it. Like, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they can. Um, it's just less likely, though, right? If you are vaccinated. To like, get it? Um, to get it or spread it. I'm not sure about the... I believe, like, your chances... Um, go down like 80 percent if you are i mean it's still possible but yeah. it's still like that 20 percent that you could still spread it and um catch it so um, yeah, it yeah, definitely yeah. like limits your chances of actually getting it or spreading it but yeah yeah well i know for me like 
Gold's Gym recently um, did like the no mask or quite and go gym up in Middletown. Really? Yeah. And I remember it was a big deal because um, my sister was talking about it and she said like, you know, there Gold's Gym is not checking if people are vaccinated. Like I remember I walked mm. in and they didn't check me if I was vaccinated. And, and you was uh, had no mask and stuff? No, I had a mask on. Oh. I had a mask on. But like when I walked in there, literally nobody had a mask. Mm. I think I was the only one with a mask on. And people were looking at me crazy. And I was on social media one day and there was um I saw somebody who talked about how he wasn't vaccinated and stuff. And I remember he commented, he made like a story or some shit, but he took it down really quick about saying how, you know, I'm not vaccinated, but I'm still show up to these places with no mask on since you guys put no mask on. And so people were like commenting on him saying like, yo, what are you doing? Like, it's so unsafe, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, that's the risk you're going to have. Like, people are going to do that no yeah, matter what. Yeah, people don't want to wear masks. Exactly. And you guys are telling them they don't have to anymore. So, <laughs> you Basically know open up Pandora's box right there. So. Exactly. And when you Man. walk to the store, they're just like, are you vaccinated? You're going to say, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, All right. Like, okay, have a nice day. Man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Man, I'm not gonna hold you, man. I like wearing masks. I love in it, public. Yeah, yeah. I, I love, love it, man. It. I love it. I'm telling you, like my nose be mad runny, have boogers <laughs> all on my shit. My mouth be mad crusty. Like I don't give a fuck. Like yeah. with my mask, nobody can see me. Yeah, I hate it low key because when I see somebody, I think I know. It's like I that's the only say thing. Hi yeah, it's like damn, I don't know if that's you. Or I see your eyes type shit. <laughs> I don't want to run up to you and it's not you. But um, no, nah, I'm used to it. Um, going to the gym with it was annoying. Well, I mean that's different. That like if annoying. you're doing physical like activities and shit, like that's very annoying having yeah. a mask on. But I mean if you're just walking around chilling, like I don't see what the big deal is. Nah, yeah. that should be hurting my ears. <laughs> Yo, I had the to, mask? Nah, for real. I had to for work. I had to get the one that pulls up because oh. it was like. Giving me like you know you get oh, yeah, like yeah, well, burn yeah yeah like yeah. it was doing that to my ear well like, yeah now that is different like if you're working and of course like if you're working like seven eight hours and have to have a mask on that's mad annoying yeah. so I can understand that but that's everybody like you gotta have your mask on so yeah. I'm sorry I haven't worked in so long it's been I don't, I don't even know uh, <laughs> about it, man no work guy man um oh here's a question I actually had to have we actually touched on the last part we, we we didn't really talk about it um about Actually, we did. We talked about being friends with people that we don't really, f- that your friend doesn't fuck with, right? I mean, we were talking about women. Like, sometimes they act like they fuck with somebody when they really don't. But, yeah, briefly, we were talking about it. Okay. Um, can you collab with someone that you don't like, personally? You? Um, it depends. Um, I mean, yeah, that's, that's happened. But, um, well, it, there's there's levels to, like, people i don't like um the levels of people you don't like yeah i mean there's some people who are just like maybe i just don't necessarily like their personalities per se but they never did anything to me so i mean that's fine but um i can't see myself working with someone or collaborating collaborating with someone if like they really don't like me or they try to harm me or something like that but it just depends but yeah possibly i could probably work with someone who i don't really really necessarily like or get along with mm. are you currently friends with people that you don't care for the personality no <laughs> definitely not well care for the personalities um see um everyone's personality is different like if because i don't think it really matters if i like their personality or not it's just how you interact with me i mean um everyone is flawed and there's people who like I guess because of their personalities, they make certain decisions or say certain things that I might not like. But I understand everyone has different personalities. So it's like that shouldn't please me just because I don't like their personality. You know, hmm. that Keem, makes are you friends with people? <coughs> <coughs> are you friends with people whose personalities you don't really like? Um, I feel like that's like a must to be friends with somebody. Personally, for me. To like your personality? Like just to be friends with them. Yeah, because... So, no, I'm not friends with somebody. Mm-hmm. But because, like you were saying, it's like a, like you have to like their personality, be friends with them. Yeah. Like maybe like an acquaintance, like, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? You could not really like their personality, but it's somebody that you're not really around exactly. that much. Like, say, one of your friend's friends, mm-hmm. you don't really like their personality, but sometimes they're around, but you just, you know what I mean? Stay cordial. Yeah. Yeah. But if it's somebody that you don't like, like, really don't like like Karan was saying or they did something to you or they don't like you 
then nah, you can't really be friends with him and collaborate. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I do have, I mean, it's funny you say that. I feel like some of my closest, not my close. I like, I'm thinking about, oh, I'll just say his name. I'm not going to lie. Aaron, like, shout out to Dreadlock Wonder. Mm-hmm. When, like, I first met him back in the day, I couldn't stand his personality, yo. Mm. And, like, I thought he was just mad sarcastic and, like, a dickhead <laughs> on purpose <laughs> all the time. Shout out to Dreadlock Wonder. Like, Shout that's out. one of my best friends now. But, yeah. like, I just grew to, like, get used to his personality. So, like, mm. so, I mean, I guess. Nah. <laughs> so, I grew up with Aaron, and he was always like that. Yeah. But, like, he was saying, it's, like, how the person interacts with you. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, it's, like, I grew up with him, and that shit was normal. Mm-hmm. But it was, like. You got used to that. It was, like, it was never, Towards, uh, like. That negative towards you, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was just yeah. like, Oh, that's, he's that's just his personality, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But like, I could see how somebody that doesn't know him, like, if he says something, like, they could yeah. be like, All right, this nigga right here, yeah. Because, like, even me, like, uh, Nate, like, mm-hmm. Nate is one of my closest friends now, yeah. But when I first met Nate, I didn't like him, nah, really? I, yeah. When I first met Nate, I didn't like him because remember, you met him first, yeah, and then you introduced me. Yeah. I didn't like him when I first met him. I didn't him. know that, that's interesting because I don't like funny niggas. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't Wait, like what? funny niggas. Hey, time out, time out. Why would you like funny niggas? Because, like, they joke too much, like, you know what I mean? Okay. Like, they, they don't know when to stop. No, you just said, you, bro. no, no, well, it is him, but that's you're just saying you. that no, because no, the first no, no. time you met him. You know what happened. I don't. I don't even remember <laughs> the skateboard. When, the skateboard incident. No. That was. Oh, was down that, the hill. What, down the hill. Wasn't that like the first time you met Nate? I don't think so. Oh, I thought that was a. That no. would have been mad funny if no, that was the first so. time you met Nate. But no, no, because it was. It's the same thing with this guy that I work with right now. Yeah. Like. Just when people don't know when to stop. Because, you know, I'll be like, ah, oh, you're like, ha, ha, ha. But, <laughs> all right, nigga. Like, <laughs> this shit is not funny anymore. Like, get out of my face. Hmm. Like, that's, that's not you, Nikki? That's not me? No. Because I'm not a funny nigga. I'm not funny. Oh, I'm just an asshole. Oh, no. You're being humble now. <laughs> yeah, I'm an you're asshole. I'm not funny. <laughs> well, that's funny. Your asshole is funny. No, people find it funny. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to make anybody <laughs> laugh. I'm just being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you, you see people find it funny. But it's like people that are like intentionally trying to make people laugh. Like, bro, like you're not a fucking comedian. Like, get the Damn. fuck out of here. Like, Damn, shout that out to Nate, yo. Shout out to Nate. You're trying to violate my man. Like, I'm yeah, saying. Bro. That's interesting. Nah, I fuck with Nate now because <laughs> he, he, knows, he knows when to stop joking. He's not one of those funny niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Funny niggas. He's funny, mm. but he's not one of those funny niggas. You know what I mean? He's not always trying to make a joke. Mm. Yeah, he's just naturally funny. Yeah. Okay. At times. Well, no, nah, he's naturally funny. Okay. Solange, can you be friends with somebody whose personality you don't really vibe with? I want to You're going to say yes. I know you are. Uh, yeah. Not <laughs> yeah. for nothing. But I don't know if it's necessarily personality or, like, action sometimes about the shit that they be doing. Like, because I won't agree with certain things, but I'm like, I'm not going to fucking drop you just because I don't believe... Like, believe the shit that you're doing because you're still a good person all throughout and you're still going to be there for me so I'm going to still be your homie. What do you mean by that? Like if they're doing shit that I don't agree with and vice versa if they don't agree with shit that I'm doing we'll talk to each other about it Mm -hmm. and we'll like confront each other but we're still not going to lose the love that we have for each other. We're just going to have to respect our boundaries of what we're doing. Personality wise I don't think I'm friends with someone that I dislike their personality. Because I feel like it's one of those things, like, if our energy ain't matching, then I'm not really going to care to, like, shift towards you. Yeah. Hmm. So there's going to be some type of connection. No. No. But just because yeah. you don't like their personalities doesn't necessarily mean that, like, they're, um, they don't treat you, like, well. Like, you can not like their personalities, but they can still be, like, a good person, no? You know? And still look out for you and still, like... Be there for you as a yeah, but if you don't if you don't like their personality, you're not gonna want them around you. There's certain people who I love their personality and I not friends with them. Like I just can't be friends with them. Not necessarily can't be, but like there's a connection lost within that and I still love their being and who they are, but we're not like Who cool. give an example. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. We here now. Alright, don't listen to me. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> she was not saying it. I was not think. um I don't know, because if I'm friends with a dick, right, 
That's not Nakeem. Yeah, I'm not the same. Nakeem's my man. <laughs> but if my friends were a dick, it's like I can't see myself. I don't know how he would. Like, you don't have to be a good. Like, they could be a good person and be a dick, but like, I don't know how. Like, I'm trying to. Inst- I'm tr- like how you like how can you interact with them if they're a fucking dick? Like, yeah, like if I don't like them. But I can't say that because I feel like I am friends with people whose personality I don't like. <laughs> I'm definitely friends with people. Well, casuals. I'm casuals with people I don't like. Um, but I feel like... I feel like if someone's being a dick to me, and I can't see how they would look out for my well-being, to answer your question. Because you said that it's cause some, just because you don't like someone's personality doesn't mean they're not a good person mm. and they're not going to do anything to harm you. Mm. It's like if I'm friends with so-and-so, and he's a blatant asshole, and he, like, I don't think I would go somewhere with him, is what I'm trying to say. Like, yeah. let's say go to a party somewhere in the city type shit, mm. and think, all right, this nigga got my back. Yeah, he's going to look out yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, yeah. I'm not going to yeah. look at that in that situation. Not yeah. for nothing, though. Sorry to go back on that. I was just quiet, because I feel like the people that I would name, you guys wouldn't know, but, like, in due time in the future, who knows if Dante will bring them as a guest or not. Dante bring but anybody as a guest. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's crazy. But... To agree with that, like, I will go out with someone who I'm not super duper cool with, but, like, just to have a great time, just to have an experience, just to get to know them. That's like a meet and greet type of thing, don't you think? Well, define going out. Like, if like you're, where are you going? If you, you, if you just met, like, a friend or something and they wanted to bring you to a concert or, like, just a place that they really thought was cool, a museum or whatever, and y'all just go out to, like... Get to know each other more. Well, I mean, that's different, though. Yeah, because okay. it's, it's not like you don't like their personality because you you don't know them. So you're trying to get to know their exactly. personality. Exactly, yeah. So if you already know them, that's okay, I see. Yeah. I but see, I, I think see, a I lot see. of times you just grow to like, like their, or you grow to either get used to their personality or even just end up liking their personality. Like, the same thing with Aaron. Like, I didn't like his sarcasticness at first, but like, over the years, I just grown to like, realize that's just his personality. And like, now it's... I guess I could say, yeah, I appreciate his personality now. Because now that I know him and I know he's a good person. Like, I mean, sometimes you don't. Sometimes it's just like you get used to their personality and it's like, you're still going to be there and I'm still going to see you and I'm still going to be cordial, but that doesn't mean I still fuck with you. Mm. No, I understand that. Yeah, because see, even like w- w- what you're saying with Aaron, mm-hmm. like it wasn't to the point where you couldn't fuck with him because yeah, yeah, yeah. you kept getting to know, know him. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was like, it was probably like a little discomfort, but it wasn't yeah. like, Oh, I don't fuck. It with wasn't him. completely mm-hmm. like I didn't fuck with him. Yeah, that is true. Oh fuck! Um, I had to come back for what you said. Um, so you you said that Aaron, he's just who he is. Um, do you think? Do you think when you guys meet someone, do you think that you should accept them? So let's say I met Nikeem, right? Like again, I met Nikeem <laughs> again, <laughs> and Nikeem's just an asshole up front. Again. Again. <laughs> right? <laughs> and I express to him, like, yo, you know, I don't really appreciate how you much on the asshole type thing, blah, 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 blah. And, and we're already friends. Like, like, we're friends already, right? But mm. I'm expressing to him, like, the asshole this little bit too much asshole. Like, tone it down a little bit. Mm. Like, do you think he should want to change that, like, tune up a little bit for the sake of the friendship? Or do, or do you think that he should be like, I am who I am type shit? Like, you either like me for who I am or you're not going to like me. Because when you get into relationships and you meet your partner, your partner's going to look at certain things that you do and she's not going to like or he's not going to like it. And you're going to have to accommodate that for your partner. So shouldn't the same thing happen to friendships? I it should, but I feel like you would have to look at what the person's saying okay. and see if what they're saying is justified. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because you can't just take what somebody's saying and go with it. It's Not like, that us. I feel like that genuinely like, depends yeah, on the situation. Yeah, it's like doctors. Like, you can get a second opinion. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you can't just take what they're saying. But if you take, you take it and you look at it and you be like, oh, you know, they're kind of right. I'm, you know what I mean? I was kind of doing a little bit too much. Mm-hmm. And you want to savor that friendship, then, yeah, you're going to, like, all right, maybe I should calm it down a little bit around him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, maybe I was doing a little too much if you want to save the friendship if or on the other hand you just be like what is this guy talking about fuck him <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. so like, it, okay so so basically it's down to if you want to save the friendship or not yeah can you hear just the like relationship yeah yeah okay yeah, my man is chilling in the back <laughs> 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 I don't be hearing myself and I be mad close bro I hear him man I hear him 
Um, Facts, because I'm I'm gonna sound mad distant on the shit. <laughs> No, nah, you good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yo, we yeah, Okay. Um, what was I? Um, oh yeah, Quran. Have you ever changed um, anything about yourself in a friendship? Not a friendship. I mean, um, like you never had a friend come up to you and express how they didn't like something about you. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, yeah. There's been like stuff I've I've done that, um, like maybe friends or someone I'm talking to. Um, has said they didn't like, but I don't think that's necessarily, it was like my personality flaws. It was just maybe, you know, something I did or, or whatnot. But, um, no, I mean, like, Hey, I don't believe, you know, if I don't believe people, if you don't want to change, then you shouldn't have to change. But, um, like I said, if you're doing something that maybe bothers other people, you just got to realize how that can affect your relationships. Um, you know, I don't think, I don't, I don't think people change, honestly. Um, you know, people change. I don't think people change really, um, and change is is a, a something that like you're gonna have to want to do. And most people don't want to change their personalities, or it's hard to change your personality. I mean, that's how you are. But um, yeah, no, that's never really happened to me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you know something I don't know, Dante. What's up? <laughs> I was thinking about it. Um, hmm. Solange, what do you think about that? I definitely have had it happen before. All the time. But not necessarily me constantly changing for the being, but it's just like our friends reevaluating because we're constantly growing. How you say people don't change, mm. I feel like we change within time and adaption of what we now come to terms with in our time. But our morals and characteristics of who we are as a being, yeah, I get that doesn't change. But mm. sometimes people be shifting their energies and how they like be moving in certain things like that you whenever know, that like, they get older, you know? Yeah, that is true. So sometimes you got to be like, yo, what's good? You're acting weird or some shit like that. Like, just mm. to get us in track. And we're like, I bet. And then other times it's like, no, nah, I'm genuinely chilling and doing me. And then they're like, okay, so let me step back because you're genuinely doing you. Yeah. I think a lot of people have moments like that. Like, um, like if, let's say, like, all the friends, anytime someone has, like, stepped up to me and said something they didn't like, it's not like we met off like that. It's like we had a good relationship um, everything was fine, but it's like maybe something that I do in a moment or something like that. But that doesn't mean that's my personality. I mean, we all do stuff and we all mess up at times. Mm -hmm. So um, that doesn't necessarily mean that was like the way I'm always acting. So um, for some you? people it is though. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Like some people, it's just to live in the mess ups and the fuck ups and like always stay in that constant state of misery. But I would never like be friends with so like yeah. I don't know. Um. Hmm. Like I said, like if I meet someone like that and like all our, all of our interactions were always like that, like I can't see myself. Like I've never been in that predicament where like I met someone where I didn't like their personality and I kept chilling with them and then I still didn't like their personality yeah. and I kept chilling with them. But um, it's always been like they were cool and then, you know, they maybe did something or said something at one moment and then, you know, we would have to have a conversation. Do you think you owe that to your friends to change? I mean, you don't owe anything to anyone, I think. But you just got to realize, like, the results and the relationships that can be affected from your actions. So it's mainly like a self-reflection thing. But I don't think anyone is, owes anyone a change for themselves. Hmm. hmm. What do you think? Uh. No, because I keep going back to that discussion that we had about um, how you say that I ponder, like my friends type shit. I, was, I didn't say you. I was asking you, do you think you do? No, I, I, no, I said I, I don't. And then you said I kind of do. It's half and half. Like I oh, pick what do choose. you mean? What do you mean? So we had a conversation last podcast yeah. about, I forgot what we were talking about. We were talking about something about um, whatever we were talking about. And we were talking about pondering. And Quran asked, do I feel like I ponder to certain people? And I was like, well, no, we have to get context. I, that's said, what I, said, I forgot. I, I said, um, um, like, do you pander to your friends when it comes to um, as far as like uh, protecting their emotional feelings? Yeah. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. do you um, not tell your friends the truth because you don't you don't know how they're going to take it? You know, because some of your friends might be more sensitive than others. Yeah, yep, and, yeah. you know, in that case, and not saying that you always just pander to yeah, your friends yeah, yeah. because whatever. And we brought up a certain situation. Um, well, he basically said that I pick and choose who I want to ponder to. 
because I want to spare their feelings type. So but that's more your women friends I was referring to. I don't think you do that to a lot of your ma- your male. Well, I mean, I said you did that to me, but yeah, I did it to you apparently. I don't know any other male friends you do that to. I, I can't see you doing <laughs> that to like uh, your other male friends. Nah, I pondered. No, you do because you'll because <laughs> you'll be like, yeah, I'm gonna pull up somewhere and then you know. Well, it's like, not even that. It's knowing like, damn well you're not. Well, it's not even that. It's like, um, let's say somebody, one of y'all come to me and ask me about a certain situation or maybe a certain uh, joint or whatever. And I would ponder that sometimes. No, that is true, Just too. to spare y'all feelings, because I don't want to be mean. Wait, you know? wait, what? A certain joint? What do you mean? No, just overall. I'm not talking about anything, like, particular. I'm saying not, I'm not talking about you, either. I'm talking about just <laughs> in, our, in our friend group. I'm like, damn, nah. you, you hating on the joints I'm showing you? No, it's like, <laughs> no, it's like let's say y'all come to me and you ask me about a joint that I may know, right? And y'all ask me, you know, put me on type shit. Like, oh, Dante's the king of that shit. And in my head, I already know like, the way. Fuck no, going. yo. In his head, he's like, fuck out of here. Yeah, it's, really? not even, it's not even that. It's like in my head, I already know the way it's going to go. So it's like, y'all my friends. You I tell the future? I want to. Sp- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, so I want to spare y'all from that. It's like, yeah. I don't want to go through that shit. That's so I'm going to tell him, I'm like, you know, she's not really, you know, interested. Like, she, you know, she's just going to dump Yo, me. we know the truth. Dante won him first. So. That, <laughs> that is not true. That is not true. That's <laughs> <laughs> not true. Yo, Dante's a motherfucking liar, man. <laughs> How is that lying, yeah. man? I can share. I'm going to share right now. That's a fact. <laughs> How y'all know I'm panning? I'm telling the truth, man. Yo, I wish I had a hat, bro. <laughs> For real. For all this cap, nigga. Yo, I'm capping. <laughs> That is not true, but now you made me forget my point. Where was I going with that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you don't think you pander to any of your friends, even though you do, because we just gave mad examples. <laughs> no, I was about to say something. It's going to sound crazy. Like, say it. Fuck it. We here now. Nah, that sounds crazy. It's like, like, I don't think, not, okay, this has nothing to Stop do with our situation. Stop trying to be politically correct, Dante. Just say it. I don't want to sound like a dick. This has... Nothing to do with our situation, but um, I feel like I don't. I feel like I don't really owe my friends to give them like a reason to certain things. So, so let's say like I don't go somewhere, and I just say I'm not going, and y'all ask why, and I don't answer it. I feel like I don't owe you that. Like my answer is my answer. Well, let's say, um, let's say. You asked me to help you out with something or go some go somewhere with you on some business shit, and I say no. You asked me why, and I said because I just don't feel like. Do you it. think people ask you why? I feel like people don't be asking me why. Like, I f- well, I feel like towards me, a lot of people ask me why I don't do certain stuff, and for me, I just feel like your no, male you know, friends. You think? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because we just be like, this nigga not coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's weird. Like I'm talking like about overall. Like I feel like people just don't accept no as an answer, and they need really? to know reason. Bro, I think it's just it might just be my my experiences. So that's why mm. I'm just expressing. Like I, I get a lot of women who do that to me who try to ask me why, but I feel like I never have like males like. No, nah, I have try, no. Try to, ask like, that. I would never. Oh my god! If a male asks me why, like I'm not giving you a fucking reason why. Like why? Like I don't know, man. It's, <laughs> Like, nah, I'm a grown like, ass man. Like, nah, what the but fuck? still, I feel like if, if they're your friend, they could ask you why. Like, oh, you were gonna come before. Like, mm-hmm. why aren't you coming now? And it could genuinely also be out of concern, just like trying yeah, to check out. You know, but I feel like concern. you should be able to say whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it shouldn't be a big deal. Like, mm-hmm. I just don't feel like it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Unless it yeah. was like some crazy shit that, that like, or some you shit. know what I mean? Yeah. Like. You had bought like tickets or something, and y'all were supposed to go together. Like, mm-hmm. then then you should probably you yeah, should have. Yeah, but an if it's just like oh, it's a party, and you're just like ah, I'm not feeling it. Then mm. yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. I'm not feeling it. That's yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, if it's something like Take big or something, will. we had we made plans like to actually really do something, or there's money involved where we spend money and we somebody just dips. Like yeah, then I can oh, see why. Yeah. Someone, where was money involved? I agree. With I that. can see why somebody would. Even those bad bunny tickets. Mm. What happened? And somebody used to skip one of those. I seen <laughs> oh. the prices on those. Them shits mm. was like six hundred dollars, cheapest. Like, bro, six hundred dollars cheapest. Yeah, them shits wow. is crazy. That's what Bad Bunny charging. 
Damn. Hey, you charging more bro. than Drake? He out here, bro. Drake? <laughs> <laughs> he out here, bro. That nigga's hot. Pause. He but, hot. Um, pause. Well, no pause. This is 2021. 2021. No pause. Yeah, 2021. No pause. Um, Wait. Yeah. Did you, I feel like one time. This is so off topic. It is. Yo, I feel like one time we came here, like, for one of your parties, your mom, like, what did she put in her potato salad that like was mad odd? Was it raisins? It might have no. been raisins. Or was it? Or not raisins. Eggs, or like grapes? Eggs? Or no, it was no, like, it was you put eggs. some crazy in there. No. Well, yeah, no, there's eggs. egg salad and potato salad. No, nah, she, like, you can put eggs salad. and potato salad. She didn't put no raisins and potato salad. She put some crazy. It might have been, bro. Raisins? I, mean, I think it was like I don't know. Y'all, y'all, y'all love raisins, yo. <laughs> y'all love raisins in this motherfucker, bro. She put raisins in her empanada. That's what she does. Oh, empanada. Yeah. 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 That's, that's what it was, uh, actually. I didn't. <laughs> she didn't take the ring. She used to always talk about that shit. Yeah, like, I remember it was the bro. I was like, what the fuck is this in the, in the food, yo? <laughs> nah, because the empanadas em- taste good, bro. And he bite into something sweet. Like, yo, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> nah, I told her that she got tight. Like, it gives it flavor. I was like, nah. I know I get the contrast. You know what I mean? I get how people could like it. Yeah. But. What I'm saying is when I'm coming, <laughs> make two separate batches. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, the kid's a dick, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Nikim, has anybody, like, confronted you? About yeah, I was about to say, nobody ever pressured you before? Yeah, about your thickness. Oh, Nikim, you see how big yeah, you bro, like all of y'all. What you mean? Y'all don't, y'all don't feel like I've changed since I was younger? No, you changed. I... And I it's because of, it's cause of yeah, it's because of yeah. Y'all always tell me I'm mean. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I... I, you know what I mean? I took that in consideration. Really? Like, like we were talking about, I took that in consideration. And, you know what I mean? Sometimes I do go a little, <laughs> I'm a little extra. Was Nikki really that big of a dickhead in nah, high school? But I think it's funny, though. Like, he, 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 is, he was always a dick. I, mean, he I always find me. it, like, he entertaining. Was he, was, he was a bully. That's yeah, you were a bully. Damn. It's okay. Yo, it's okay, yo, bro. Chill, yeah. chill. Like, you can't just throw that bully <laughs> around. Bro. You can't just throw that around. You don't think you were a bully back in the days? I wasn't a bully. I mean, maybe I, <laughs> I picked on Dante sometimes. But <laughs> I was tribal, I guess. Yo. I was tribal. Yo. How did that, how does that make you feel? Like, seriously, Dante, I know we're about to get deep. No, Nikim helped me a lot, bro. What you mean? Like, you think he helped you, like, toughen up? Hell yeah. You oh, yeah. So? Tough. Oh, yeah, I helped me toughen up, bro. Really? Yeah. Bro, you know how many times I got cut on in high, in high school, middle school? But that shit toughened me up. Like, by us? Yeah. Y'all, my moms. Nah, but even with, like, Dante, though, like, we would cut on him. But if somebody at school tried to cut on him, yeah, like, yeah, right, that's, chill yeah, out. Yeah, like, y'all have my back when other niggas like, try to cut on me. Facts. It was like, only y'all can cut on me. But if anybody yeah. else is going too crazy, like, all right, y'all, that chill. Yeah, yeah. chill. Nikeem, are you a dick when you when you talk to, like, women? <laughs> yeah, why? Are you ever seen Nikeem around women? <laughs> Yo, nah. Not anymore. I, nah, I was when I was younger. Yeah. Because, you Yo, know what I mean? I was just an asshole. In? Banani, huh? What game were you spitting? Like, what was your pickup line? Just try to argue with anybody. <laughs> no, that was, was, that was his pickup yeah. line. Just try to argue with somebody. Asshole. I was just an asshole. I was just an asshole. But no, nah, not not much anymore. Not much? You know what I mean? You a sweetheart? Eh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. It depends. It depends, like... It just depends. You know what I'm saying? Like, like am I trying to, like, talk to this person? Or is it just, like, somebody that did something I don't fuck with? You know what I'm saying? And I'm assuming it depends on their personalities, too. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Like, there's this girl at work, like, me and her will bicker back and forth. Yeah. But that's her personality. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So okay. she starts to bicker, and I'm like, yo, I'm coming right back at you. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Yeah, so it just depends. It you just know what I mean? I learned how to channel my the frustration. <laughs> my and frustration. My the... really? frustration. Like, just channel the dick. The <laughs> <laughs> <A> word? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Channel the dick? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Shout out to the key. We channel nah, a little dick. I like that, bro. I like that. That's grown. I love That's how I didn't say pause. Yeah. Yo, the key was growing out here, bro. Listen, ain't no pause in 2021, man. Back in the day, the key definitely would have paused that. Yeah. Ain't no pause in 2021. Yeah, channel the dick, the key. Channel it. Yeah. <laughs> channel it, man. You got to channel it. Yeah. Nah, but not never. Worked. Like, you know the theory how, like, um, everybody still like girls, like guys who are dicks and means type shit. So yeah. I tried that one time when I was talking to a joint. Dante, you? Yeah, I tried to. Bro, that did not come, go out. I can't, well, out yeah, I can't see you. Bro. I can't be a dick. So, anyways, but I tried to, and she, like, 
She could probably sense that that, that's, nah, that wasn't you. She cut my ass, bro. I'm not yeah, she probably sensed that. She like, cut my ass. You not you not like this. <laughs> I'm not like that. But I tried it. I wanted to see like 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 you know have you guys ever tried like yes try something else yeah like try some other tactic to see if it works on women. Oh hell yeah, that like, shit is. Fun. I love doing that, yo. I love. I do that all the time. Yeah, I love experimenting. I've been noticed like how some shit weird works, and I try to do it. The next one doesn't work, and it's yeah. just like it's mad interesting to do that, but. That used to be my like my shit, bro. Like right. I used that used to be my wave. Like I would love like going into bars like after work and just be like, yo, let me just I don't know, let me just try something and mm-hmm. just try different methods. Like one day, like maybe be very assertive, maybe like be on my shy shit one day. You know, be on your shy shit. Yeah, I'll be on my shy shit sometimes. <laughs> I can't see Karami. Yeah, shit. that's what's going on the YouTube channel. New content. Uh oh, you know saying coming soon. Soon come. <laughs> soon come. Subscribe, Karan J in here. Well, actually, no. Don't subscribe yet. I'm trying to get my content out first. Content. Soon coming. You got to post shit, nigga. Oh, content post. All right, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That. I got to post right. it first. <laughs> 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 I'm tired, man. I'm tired. Um, hold on. Let me I don't on. think I've ever seen Dante show his legs before. <laughs> bro, <laughs> <laughs> bro I, was telling for the podcast. I wonder why the vibe was, was off, yo. That, bro, yo. I was telling for the podcast. I was like, yo, how do I look? I look crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, was just I was saying that, yo. Something new. He's trying to show a little skin. Only fans coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, people see my legs freely and shit, you know? They're going to say unsubscribe. <laughs> 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 I knew something was off for some reason, yo. Listen, man, I know. I was hot. That's why I was moving that fucking fridge and shit. That's so I fact. was fucking hot. Yeah, that's a fact. That's <laughs> 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 a fact. <laughs> yeah, no, I wasn't moving reason. that motherfucking fridge. <laughs> bro, I, I pulled up late on purpose just so I didn't have to help, bro. Yo, I'm always pulling too. up late on purpose. I'd be the first one here, bro. Yeah, I told him I was going to pull up late. That's why I was like, nah, nigga. I don't need a rest. <laughs> Yo, because he was like, he was like, yeah. I'll you know, know. That. Yeah, yeah, I was like, nigga, what? Man, I, I read vacation, that text. Bro. I was like, you know how hot it is right now? Yo. Uh, Damn, that's crazy. No, that's crazy. <laughs> it was like, not out, I, bro. bro. Not I. Man, I ain't eating. Nigga, I'm weak right now. Oh, they got food food upstairs for you. That's what I'm saying. What the fuck would I pay them out? They pay you. Yeah, manager. What do you mean? What, you think I was going to do that for free, Sam? What? For free? For free? Well, I was gay. Yeah, I was gay. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? It's called. <laughs> that is therapy is an arm and a leg. Advisor. That's still in the It's not free. I'm sorry. He's a here, consultant. Exactly. What are you talking it's about? It's true, though. It sucks. <laughs> Only fans and consultant. <laughs> Only fans consultant. Come on, man. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a, a chain. little last shade, bro. It's a little last shade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this shit little, bro. I got this shit for Christmas. Aww. 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 A little baby chain. A little baby chain. A little cross. Come yeah, on, man. Man upstairs. Jesus. Why you got Jesus? I don't. I got a cross. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with this nigga, bro? I don't know. Wait, you have to say all that, man. Wait, Nakeem. Why do you hate Bumble? Nah, that shit's whack. I'm not oh. gonna hold you. Wow. I, I barely be getting any matches. And then when you do get a match. You can't say nothing. You can't say <laughs> shit. Yeah, you gotta wait. Oh, yeah, you gotta wait and you know women yeah, are not gonna say message shit. you, bro. So this shit just passes. Like. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Sam, Sam would see everybody's account. For Bumble and Yo. <laughs> He's about to show it to me. I'm gonna go look after the pod. After the pod. After the pod. After the pod. After 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 we recorded after the pod. I did this for Karan, too. Not during the pod. <laughs> Let me see. Let me She's look at me. Look at me. Let me what see. What do you mean? You try to look at my profile? You try to look at what? My messages. She about to edit your profile so people can message you. Yeah. Unless I really. Oh, you want to see my profile? I don't think I need to see your messages. It looks like you curving women, though. I'm Uh-oh. seeing, I'm I'm seeing hey and no bro. response. Uh oh. Yeah, that's me, bro, saying hey oh. with no <laughs> response. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, nah, man. there's a couple curves in there. There's a couple curves. Okay, okay. A couple curves. Yeah. Yeah. Man, man, you gotta stop covering women, man. You Wait, so know. what's your favorite app to use? Um, you still use Tinder? Yeah, I still use Tinder. What's my favorite app to use? Like dating app? Yeah. Uh, okay. Hinge. I like Hinge. See, my I son. But I, I feel like Hinge. I feel like I wish you had more swipes on Hinge. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm it's limited. Oh, yeah, it's so yeah. um, do they have a thing just like Tinder where you can get like the premium and then get unlimited yeah. swipes or? 
I've done it, but I, I only do it when it goes on sale and if I'm taking a trip. Yeah, yeah, they put it sales. on sale. So if I'm taking, a, if I'm about to take a trip and it's on sale, I'm copying it. I can start, <laughs> I can start swiping like a week in advance. That's where yo, I've I've been with the team, and that's worked, yo. That's right. smart as hell. Really? I be tight, yo. This that's shit always be trash. working for the team, bro. I've actually never been in a trip and like what are you about to say? people just swipe. <laughs> Word? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to look at another one? <laughs> look at another one. Akeem, we are in got, recording, sir. I got a few. All right, so talk, bro. Get <laughs> <laughs> up on the mic. <laughs> they can hear you on the mic. Um, fuck, I left, left my train of thought. Oh, yeah, nah. I've never went on a trip and used Tinder and actually worked for me. Like, I've never copped a joint, like, the day of. Real last trip Yo, we went on. How does that work? What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, what's the what's the tactic? So you download it, you get the unlimited swipes, and you just say, I'm going to be in this location before you actually go to the location and start mm-hmm. swiping? Yeah. Mm. Like, you set, you set the location to that location, and then you just swipe. Yeah. Only if you, have the pay. Pay. if you have the premium, you can. How's that sauce? How's that sauce? Well, yeah, but I'm going to be there. there. No, but so, it's going to take a while to get to know the person. Yeah. Sometimes it takes like two to three days yeah. for them to even like, like it. Have, have and then it's going to take mad long for them to respond. Today, right? And I'm only there for the weekend. You just about to pull up on me today? Mm-hmm. You That's going to be weird. Mm-hmm. Only some people are going to do that. So... A week in advance, I could talk to you for a week and then be like, all right, yo, let's chill. Because by the time you come, they're already comfortable and shit. And then I'm going to be like, oh, I'm coming down there. It's not like I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, I I, I live in Texas. Uh, uh." (laughs) (laughs) Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that sucks. (laughs) Nah. Yeah, nah. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. That that never worked for me. That never worked for me. Well, I don't match on Tinder. I never matched on Tinder like that before. For real? Nah, Hinge was like... That I never try. Goal. I gotta try Hinge, man. Hinge is good, but Hinge has a lot of black folk on there. A lot of black folk. Hmm. It's good. There's nothing wrong with that. It looks nice. It's yeah. I think it looks a lot better than Tinder and mm. Bumble, in my really? opinion. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I really wise. only uh, downloaded Bumble again because I'm in Florida now, so I want to meet people. It's like big I over there. Like Bumble is like the big hmm? thing over there. Uh, Probably everywhere. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, bro. <laughs> that shit don't be working for me. I just downloaded. <laughs> I just downloaded. I have um, Tinder, I have Bumble, I have Hinge, Damn. and I have um, the no nah, black stop. <laughs> you got black people. <laughs> I got beat? black people beat. Oh, it's yeah, lit. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I thought you okay. had to pay for that though. It's free. Oh shit. Oh, maybe eHarmony. <laughs> No, and match.com. Match.com. Well, since we're talking about this, have you guys had any like uh, crazy or good Tinder or any social media dating app experiences? Like good experience or bad experiences? Both. Uh, oh, no, I've had some good ones. I'll be honest. Tinder is really the only place that I don't think I've met up with any girls I've matched with on any of the other apps except Just for Tinder. Tinder? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same here. Yeah. And, you know, I've had good experiences, bad experiences. What's your worst? I want to hear the worst experience. My worst experience? Yeah. With somebody I met up with from Tinder? Yeah. I don't know, bro. They, they haven't <laughs> been that bad. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> They've been pretty decent. Really? You know what you, I'm saying? You had bad Maybe, ones? Yeah. I had a really bad one. Would you like to share it? Or is that too well, much? Fuck I'll share it. Um, <clears throat> I remember uh, one time I matched with this... Um, with this girl on Tinder. Um, she lived pretty close to me. So we're like, we were talking. She seemed pretty cool. So I'm like, oh, um, yeah, you can come to the crib. Like, come to the crib. Whatever. We could chill. So she comes to the crib. And then she starts, like, telling me how, like, she's bipolar and shit. And how she has to, like, take mad medi- like medication and stuff. So, okay, whatever. That's cool. So we're talking. Nah, I hate that shit. Not not the bipolar, <laughs> but like <laughs> not the bipolar, but like yo, I just met you, dog. You're, you're like oh, you're like explaining all of that. that yeah. You're gonna tell me your whole life right now, yeah. like that's always what like, end up happening. Like when people now, nah, when people like start off with like, like oh yeah, I'm bipolar. It's like so what? Are you gonna freak out right now? Like <laughs> why are you telling me that shit? Like, like, you, you like why you? Yeah, jump. like I don't even know you. You just telling me all your yeah. business right now? Yeah, I mean, like I can see why people do it. Just nah. so they get the bad out the way to see if you still want to talk to them. Yeah, bro. Bipolar is out. not even that crazy unless like you, have, you don't like, have your shit under control. I agree. Yeah, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying. And if you know you're bipolar, you usually have it pretty under control. 
I feel you. Well, I don't know. Well, Continue. this girl. <laughs> so she's telling me about whatever her conditions or whatnot. Mm-hmm. So she was like, "Oh wait, I really have to take my medis- my medication." But she was like, "The thing is, I get really, really tired and a little out of it when I take my medication." So I'm like, oh, um, like, do you want to do that now? Like, shouldn't you wait until you get home? Because she says she's not supposed to be driving on it. So I don't know why she took her medication. She's trying to spend the night, dog. And then she took a shot. And then she, there was like, she was just out of it. Like, when I say, like, maybe 30 minutes later, mm-hmm. she was just like, it looked like she was on a Zan, yo. Like, it was just she crazy. She was, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yo. It, she was literally, like, on a Zan. So she takes it, like, 30 minutes later, like, she's just fucking out of it. And then she's, like, asking me to, like, she's just asking me weird stuff. Like, mm. she's asking me to do weird stuff for her. Like, she was like, oh, can you go out to the store and, like, get this for me? And I'm just, like, it, it's, like, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. And I'm, like, getting tired. So I'm, like, oh, like, I'm, like, okay, I'm getting tired. And I'm, like, she was, like, oh, I got to go. Like, and I'm just, like, wait, I don't know if you can drive. I'm, like, please, like, you can sleep on my couch. Yeah. Like, it's fine. Like, I just don't want you to drive right now because I don't think you should be driving. Yeah. So she sleeps on my couch. I would never forget this, too. I don't think she comes from, like, the best home. So I remember her, like, laying down on my couch and be like, wow, I never felt this comfortable before. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, she lays on my couch and then she knocks out. And then, like, early in the morning, I wake up and she's gone. But the thing is, like, I'm, I'm smelling like a weird smell, yo. Nah. So I'm like... I'm like, yo, where is this fucking smell? I'm like, first of all, where is this girl? Where did she go? <laughs> and I'm like, what, what is this smell, yo? So I'm like looking around. And then like I go on my couch where she was laying. And I, I put my, my, my nose to the couch. And it smells like fucking piss, yo. Like it smells horrible, That's yo. That's she got out of here. <laughs> so I think she fucking peed on my fucking couch, I yo. Do that shit away. And it's <laughs> dipped. So, yeah, that was probably my worst uh, Tinder experience. You talked to her after? No, I didn't talk to her after. <laughs> after. I'm just curious. No. I'm curious. I might have blocked her after. Uh, yeah, oh, I think I blocked te- her. Oh, so she didn't text you? Be like, thank you for letting me send a night type shit? Uh, maybe, but I blocked her. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. I was tight, yo. I was so tight. Oh, yeah. And I let, I let her have my new sheets, too. Like, fresh sheets. Didn't even use them yet. Oh, I was that like, shit had to get thrown away. You think that's taboo to, not taboo, but, like, bad luck to, like, invite a Tinder date, like, the first time you meet Oh, no, I mean, I've had great Tinder dates. I mean, not a bad thing. Not a bad thing, but I don't know. I've only did that once. Like, a spontaneous, I met you that same day. I I see you on that same day. I've done it once, and then we're at left. Oh, really? I'm fucking, I'm screaming. I thought you like, invite them to your crib the same day. Well, you know, kind of, yeah. I mean, no, I mean, I've done that. A well, lot. both, you know, invited to the crib or seen them the same day you well, matched no, them. That's not. Yeah, no, I've done that really? a, a ton of times. Don't, uh, yeah. So don't, nah, don't talk. <laughs> yeah, I'm not right. Yeah, yeah. Come on. What's your experience? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't be shy now. Okay, not for nothing. Not. As long as we pulling up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not for nothing. I feel like I only have Tinder solely for that reason. I'm not gonna hold you. No, so to pull up the same night? No. Yeah. Hey, let's so talk about it. Dude. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me get an air horn, Dante. I need an air horn or something, man. <laughs> Work them soundboards. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. Like that's the only reason why I have Tinder. And then when the job is done, I delete it. And then when I need my like shit back, I'll like re-download it. So that's only happened one time to me, and it was only really weird. I'm sorry. Keep going. Hmm? Not it's okay. That's not true, but okay. Keep what going. He said? No, he go. said only women can get that off. But oh, I'm screaming. That's not true. That's not true. But um, yeah, that only the only time that it ever happened to me when I didn't come through the next night, and I was just genuinely kind of like, "What the fuck? This is fucking weird." Like I had a specific intention. I didn't even. It wasn't even Tinder. It was you know those weird ass off, off whack apps that you just be scrolling for hours for, and it's like the, the dark interweb. It was one of those sketchy ass apps. Nah. <laughs> it was one of those mad sketchy ass <laughs> apps. I'm not gonna hold you. Like I don't know what you be on. <laughs> Huh? From Reddit. From Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody slid in your DMs on Reddit? Nah, not Reddit, but it was it was. Yeah, I heard Reddit is lit. It's low-key lit. Low-key, low-key. It depends what you're trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. It depends on the, like, the blog. Yes. Really? Yes. I never used Reddit before. Reddit is insane. <laughs> really? Reddit is like the dark web, low-key. Okay. But basically, that's what this dating app was. It was the dark web, like, Reddit version. Mm. 
And he met up and he hit me with the, you want to smoke? And I was like, yeah. Oh, that's always the number one line right there. <laughs> you know she want to smoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, yo. That's the pickup line that you want to he, not for nothing, it's usually not, but he said he'll pick me up because I'm not about to travel because then I'm going to lose my libido and I'm not going to want to do nothing no more and you're just about to be ghosted. See how good women have it? <laughs> that's why I said. Mm -hmm. only, that's, but that's he travel. picked me up. We were chilling. We smoked. And then travel. he dropped me off like and he gave me a hug. Wait, what? That sounds like me. That's some shit I would do. What? Like, well, what, what, like you expected him to do more? I downloaded the app for a reason, bro. But you well, okay, okay. That's actually I'm so happy Salon said that. What's because up? women I and like I don't want to say you're the problem, <laughs> but women have to make that cause that actually happened to me recently where like I met up with a woman on oh, Wait, but it's okay because eventually I got my shit off. <laughs> Damn it. I'm scaring. How, okay. how far are we into this? An hour and three minutes. Okay, yeah, they're mm -hmm. not going to listen to this. I, I, I eventually <laughs> got my shit off. Like, after the third date, like, he made it very cordial. Like, it, we, we were dating type of shit. Like, he took me out the second time, and we drove, and he took me to meet his grandmother and chilled, and we were kicking it. But he was just, like, very respectful, and we were just, like, cuddling, watching movies and shit like that, smoking with his grandmother and whatever. Meaning, oh, yeah. 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 Huh? So why didn't you make a move? Because I was chilling on the couch with him and his grandma. Well, no, not that. that not <laughs> in that <laughs> moment. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Any any other moments. Times. Oh, the third night. That's where we headed off. Oh, no. so you ended up yeah, getting it. Yeah, but now I'm saying, oh. if you wanted to, to make moves that first night, then why, why you wouldn't you say moves? something? Yeah. Nah, not even, like, or made a move, yeah. I yeah. also feel like it's a res like, I feel like, I don't know, I think it's also a respect thing as well. Like, I'm not going to force myself onto doing certain things and stuff like that. If but, it's like, but that's what you were looking for. It saying. was what I was looking for, yeah, but so he, he made he, it like, it, it, the way that it went down, it was clear that he wasn't trying to do nothing in that car. No, that's, nah, he probably was. Yeah. That's the thing with guys. Exactly. You can't. They're trying to be respectful Facts. to you and this, because and this they don't think that's what you want. And in this climate, you you, clear, and in this climate, it's different. Like, guys, and that's my problem. Like, No, he wasn't, he wasn't fucking in that car not for nothing because that's also his grandmother's car, so I think that's also what What that mean? What the does that mean? Yo. I, uh, I really don't think he was trying to do <laughs> that because all over my mom's Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> yo, going crazy. Yo, <laughs> yo the key was fucking stupid. Yo. Um, yeah, yo, and this I I hate when women do that. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, cause that literally just happened to me recently, where I um went on like a Tinder date. We hit it off really well, and like I'm like I'm I always tell women I'm not making the first move. Like in this environment. Like, you have to give me signs. You have yeah, to you verbally kind of say something. Like, I'm not fucking making a move. Like, yeah. I'm not putting myself in danger for something you might want or might not want. Like, Facts. you just have to protect yourself. Like, I hate that we psychotic because the majority of women do want you to make the first move and not even, like, a, in kind of, like, a weird way. But, like, you know. What's not a weird not, way? Nah, but even, like, because I'll make the first move, but it's, like... You know how girls like play that game, like no, the no, first move, yeah, they, they love won't go that for it. Shit. Yeah. But if you they do it again, like shit. fifteen minutes later, that's then they'll start harass. going for it. That's fucking exactly. sexual harassment. So after the first time, that's if you a dub secret. It, then it's a dub. Yeah. That's like, a that's secret it. fetishized fantasy that women have, though. That's like a le that's legit a thing. Ugh, patooey. That's nasty. <laughs> patooey. That's yeah. nasty. <laughs> patooey. But nah, I agree with that. I feel like women should definitely because, make the first move. Yeah, because I don't make the first move at all, bro. Like, I'm very... Bro, like, you can nowadays, yeah. bro. Unless you literally have that confirmation. Even if you have that confirmation, they'll be like, oh, well, maybe in this moment, like, I was feeling that. In this moment, yeah. I'm not. Like, yeah. And they're entitled to that, but you got to communicate that shit. You have to communicate that. Or at that. least make a hint or some shit. But, like, but most of the time, we, I usually have a conversation prior to, like, us even... Like, for some reason, every time I've, I've gone out with we always had a conversation about sex yeah. prior to that. So... It's not that that's a given that we're going to have sex when we meet up, but it's But like, at least you know the vibes, exactly. at least somewhat the vibes. Do you guys yeah. have the sex conversation with your girl before y'all actually do anything? Like, if you're genuinely seeing the person, not if you're just meeting up for the one time. For the it one depends. Time. Um, what, what do you mean the sex conversation? Yeah, what do you mean about that? Like, talking about what you like and vice versa. That way, when you Kings guys get to, shit. like, Ooh, that's my get shit. into, like, the kinky shit, you guys are able to reciprocate it. Um, I mean, I like to do that, yeah. but... It's also depending on who the person is, you exactly. know what I mean? Because some people are more reserved. shy, like reserved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that is true. It's yeah. been a minute since like I've done that. Like, <coughs> yeah, I didn't do it with. Actually, I've only done it like maybe twice, actually. Well, like have the conversation, the of conversation how you yeah. like what you like and yeah. Okay. Other times, just like winging it, about to see what's up. You're just trying shit. Yeah. Damn. 
But then it gets awkward when she wants you to do some crazy shit, and I'm just like, like what? Like what? Yeah. <laughs> Talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I th- Let's see how crazy this crazy shit is. It's well, not, well, not crazy. It's, so it's, it's not about to be crazy. crazy. I'm sorry. Well, not well it. out the norm because granted, I've been with women. That what is thought, it, bro? Like, <laughs> why you beat her? Nah, up like what is she it? wanted me to like punch her in the face. What? And then there's someone some like shit. that. Yeah. Like the first Are session like too. No, I'm not. I've had a friend who liked to have her knife next to her throat though. Some people like that. That's a fetish. Man, I'm good, bro. <laughs> I can, yeah, I can't. Like, you, you know, know what I'm so saying? Bad. There's there's, good, s- there's certain things that I won't do, and it's like, and plus there's some things that I I try to do and then I wouldn't. So that's why I always be like, just do the bare minimum yeah. during sex. Not the bare minimum, but like nah. I do what's normal. I I that's always fair. like try to push the line a little bit to see like but, what the vibe is is going. Like I mean, that's but, happened. Like the first session. Yeah, bro. I mean, that's happened to me. Where like, <laughs> what's your what's your push to lie? What's your go to on the first session? Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I I do like like choking and shit like that. So like, there's been yeah, times like, where that's like, light yeah. work. That's mad. I think light that's work. normalized now. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, but there's still a lot of women who don't like that. Like, that's yeah. true. So. I mean, see me. I, I'll feel that vibe out like from the beginning. Like, yeah. really? we're, mm. if we're making out, I'm gonna choke you a little bit and see. Yeah, you know I mean, how you do. see how you react to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause once you get to sex, choking is just a normal thing. Yeah, like, you I should already know. Yeah, you know I mean. Yeah. yeah. I, I know some girls that don't like to get their hair pulled, and that was new for me. That every makes girl sense, I met, though. Like, like to get their hair pulled. I mean, <laughs> maybe she just got her hair done. Yeah. You know That's I mean? what no, I'm she saying. Didn't. Nah, she never got. She just didn't like her hair being pulled. Like, did she got that sacred. kinky ass curly hair that if you fuck up with their curls, they gonna get like stretched out and shit like that? Cause I could understand that. Some did, some didn't. Okay. Since we're talking about that, women do not pull my hair. Yo, that's a thing. Look, yo, and when that. you have a low, yo, women be trying to pull my and like that really? shit fucking hurts. Like I kind of like stopped doing that ever since like women tried to do that to me since Why I grew my hair. That shit. The crowd doesn't like physical touch when you. Yeah, touch I don't even like people touching me honestly. Like, that. like, <laughs> like yeah. you like people touching you, but you like to. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't like. Hey, that's actually really weird because I don't wait, like I don't like being choked. Wait, wait. I don't like any of that shit. Like, do you guys really? like the butt squeezes? What? Wait, what? When you're doing, like, when you're like missionary a missionary and, and she, like, she, you're touches, touches, your butt. touches your butt. Like, she grips your butt. <laughs> you don't know? Nikim? Nah, nah. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm a referring to Nikim. Hey, Nikim. Like, what's the limit? What's the limit? What's the depends. limit? I'll, it's I'll like, it's not, it's not like a turn off. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not going to be like, oh, my ass. You know what I'm saying? But if you start doing too much, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you really gripping my shit, (laughs) 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 you know what I'm saying? (laughs) Like, that's a little too much. And then my cheeks start to spread open, like, (laughs) that's way too much. Like, you holding on too too tight. Like, you got to get off now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But nah, it's, like, <laughs> it's not a total. I agree it's, not turn off. it's not a turn off. It's not a turn off. Yeah, I'm agree. just ticklish, so like you can't touch me. Like they are crying because I'll literally just be ticklish and laughing like by accident. So so basically, you like to be the one in control. I don't want to say in control, but I'm I'm just I wish it wasn't like that. Honestly, like you need a deep tissue massage. That way you don't I can't get like, massages. Like I you need one because so, it I sounds can't. like you're mad tense nah, for no deep reason. Deep tissue massage that should have gone hurt. I so. can't get any type of massage. Like, I have women, like, try to massage me. You I'm need try to, to go roll out. You need to, like, woosah, do some acupuncture. There's no reason nah, for you I to be this that. tense. No. He's ticklish. I'm <laughs> just ticklish. Like, I'm, my body's, my skin is sensitive. I'm sorry, my skin is sensitive, Slange. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Don't look at me like that. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> judging the shit out of you. I'm not, I'm not judging you. I'm <laughs> just joking. like, cry. Go get a massage, man. Get yeah. touched a little bit. Hey, I man. think you'd appreciate it. I think you genuinely appreciate it once you get used to it. I, try, I feel like man. you're the type of person to genuinely want it too. Like I feel like you genuinely. In fact, you know, you be in the spas it. and shit. You yeah, don't give bro. You don't give yeah. nah, I be. The, I, I'm the type to go to uh, a spa and just be in the jacuzzi all day. Like, this <laughs> nah, I can't get massage. Like I'm. T- I'm way too ticklish for massages. I can't do it. Nah, deep tissue massage. I'm telling you. What is it? It's like mad pressure. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, okay. So it's not even. It's not gonna feel ticklish. It's gonna, it's gonna hurt like, like yeah, a bitch. It's gonna hurt. Really? Yeah, maybe I'll try that one day. Yeah. We should go uh, go on a, a field trip and get oh, a yeah. deep yeah. tissue massage. I yeah. expressed to Karan and came. I feel like the guys should go on a spa trip together. I feel that hurt. <laughs> I don't feel. I can't. I can't agree to that one. Why, Why not? not? <laughs> that's that's not it, bro. Why not? A spa Why? trip with the guys? Yeah. That's, that might be fine. That sounds great. It's a little mooky. I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh, stop it. Nah, nah, it's, it's different. If it's like if it's like. A little group, like 
like three. We gonna have all eight of us in that. That looks a bit more. All eight people, all eight niggas going to. If it's not like a bachelor party. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Quick spa trip. Like, you guys... Y'all deserve to treat That's yourselves. It, I think you guys should do it. A group of eight guys? Yes. This is about seven guys? Yes. I think y'all can actually pick up chicks like that. Not for nothing. They'll be like, look at these healthy-ass men who go and do things together with their friends, and they're not scared of their toxic masculinity. Oh, my gosh. Da, da, da. You know? When that might say work. different things than they're attracted to. They're going to be like, look at this sausage fest roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, What's I agree. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Nah, I don't What's know. I, no, I agree. There's some women that look at guys kind of funny when they do some shit like that. <laughs> What's well, serious? I, I guess it's just Women be then. contradicting themselves. Like, I guess it's just I'm me I'm a motherfucker, then. yo. I mean, we always talk. I mean, we had mad shit to pull from last episode. I, I thought know. I thought it was a good that episode was a great last episode, week. Actually, hmm. I listened to it like a few times. Actually, really, that was like a two hours and twenty minutes episode. Good episode. Yeah. yeah, it was long. It was a we be talking about all the good shit at the end, man. All the time, right? All the time. All the time. Man. We need to start. Talk, we need to start bringing all the your, I mean, all your questions first, yo. Mm. <laughs> that should be the new shit. No, nah, I think it's because we take a break, so we kind of like woo saw and shit. Then yeah, it's always it's it. always better like after the breaks. Yeah. Honestly, I think that's what it is. And yeah. it's because the dialogue is already flowing. So now you're that is true. Know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, this includes episode one eleven. You want to talk about Pooh Shiesty or anything? No music? Y'all can talk about pool. Nah, nah, nah. End of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing about no pool. Um, <laughs> thank, you, <laughs> thank you guys for listening on Apple, Spotify, and YouTube. You don't want to uh, shout out your local businesses that you're wearing? Shout out to Saley Things. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Saley. Uh, you should definitely cop that. It's on IG. Uh, Saley Things. I think there's two S's on there. Uh, shout out to her. She got a lot of thrifting stuff. Makes her own clothing. Yeah, how you supporting her but not me? Your Bro, man. I said I was gonna buy something from you, but you didn't. <laughs> I forgot to hit I you know, up. I'm just playing. Um, thank you, Nakeem, for coming back here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not one time, but one time, bro. You be back. I know what I mean? Moving around. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> global. And, anything else y'all want to talk about? Shout out? I want to shout out anybody? You know what I'm saying? We got to um, go somewhere. She's gonna be tired. We're gonna pull up Matt late. Um, shout outs to my future baby mama. I still love you. I don't know who you are yet, but <laughs> if you're out there, Shout out to you. <laughs> Shout out to you. <laughs> I, don't I don't know, man. I'm hungry, man. End this shit. Not to end it. I'm hungry, man. <laughs>